Hey, Stephanie. Yeah. Hey, this is Grayland again. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to call you back. Um, just trying to research your property a little bit more. Uh, so you're not in a hurry at all necessarily, but are you, are you planning on moving to an apartment or have you even thought about that at all? Uh, that's what I'm, I'm thinking I want to go back into an apartment. Um, I'm not from here, so I don't know where's the best area for an apartment. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I just been thinking about this over the last month, so. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's, um, there's definitely a lot of decent ones like up there by Quail Springs Mall. That's, mm -hmm. that's a really good one actually right there by Lifetime Fitness. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but, um, those are really nice apartments and they're not crazy expensive yeah. like some of them, but I mean, they're not cheap either, but, yeah. but they're really nice. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper that. here than it is at home. So. Oh, is it? Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, if we were to agree on a price, would you be interested in moving sooner than later or not necessarily? Um, yeah, I'm only just giving myself a year, um, but today is like the first day I'm actually Research actually it. looking into it, yeah. Yeah. So, Have you talked to any other companies? Uh, I just spoke with one other gentleman, um, but he hasn't gotten back to me. Okay. He said he would call back to us. I got you. Because um, I don't know how different this is from, you know, um, putting it on the market with a realtor. Yeah, the biggest difference is, so let me just say we have, obviously we have our cash option, like I mentioned earlier, which, you know, that is typically not going to be what you want because you you want more out of it. And I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, but we kind of look at this just after our discussion is maybe uh, just kind of a light remodel, you know, because most of it we're just guessing in most cases, this is true. Uh, since you just bought it two years ago, you know, er, most things were caught in inspection and that whole sewer line thing, you know, wasn't, but you fixed that. Um, so we're just kind of looking at it as maybe a light remodel, just, you know, maybe just bringing yeah. it up to 2023 standards a little bit more, you know? Yeah, like I, that's what I planned on doing because okay. like um, the textures of the walls, they really bug me. Um, yeah. They're not all the same texture. Oh, really? The bathroom's different, the living room's different, and then one of the bedrooms is yeah. different. Yeah, sometimes. One, one of the rooms randomly has crown molding. And huh. like, and no, the kitchen does, but. Wow, so it's, it's like they did some of it, not some not some of it, huh? Yeah, they just never got finished with it. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so redoing all that, you know, takes a little time and effort but mm -hmm. can be done for sure that's the problem with those older houses they do have that old school stuff and then trying to do new stuff with it it just doesn't look right <laughs> mm -hmm. but um yeah so like if you want the realtor out obviously you list it you know typically most realtors like you know they're like pie in the sky let's list it as high as we can and see what happens well the market has changed i don't know if you know that or not but um you know seven or eight months ago it was on fire right everything was selling mm -hmm for more than they're worth even, but now it's not. Um, it's just the opposite. A lot of it has to do with the high interest rates. I mean, interest rates are close mm -hmm. to 8% right now, which makes it difficult. So it's just having people push back more, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So prices are just dropping because of that. Most people just aren't buying anymore because of that. But the ones that are, they kind of have the upper hand, you know what I mean? Because they can determine like, oh, I don't want this. and. I don't want that. I want you to include this, you know, and we want it for this price. And you pretty much have to take it if that's, if you want to sell, you know what I mean? That's the only thing that's mm -hmm. bad. It's more of a buyer's market right now as opposed to a seller's. But, um, so listen with the realtor, obviously they, they tell you whatever price it is and then it's listed for a while. You know, you deal with a bunch of showings, inspection period, you know, all that, just like when you bought your house, yeah. but you're on the other end this time. Uh, so you never really know what the final price is until it's all said and done, uh, even until you close because there's all kinds of right fees, realtor fees and title work fees and closing costs, etc. cetera. Um, so what we have is we have a, a concierge service to where we offer, uh, it's kind of a hybrid. It's not us paying cash um, because that would be a really low number that you can't really live with, right? I mean, just yeah. to give you an idea, our cash price on this house is more like 83000 
you know, so that would only give you, you know, maybe 10 oh, wow. in your pocket, you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, like our concierge service is more of a blend to where we're very close to your price on that. So that's why I wanted to call you back just to see if it even interests you at all. Um, but the difference is we give you your price up front. We don't necessarily buy it ourselves in this instance, but we've got over 4 million buyers nationwide in our network because we've been doing this a long time. So okay. most likely we have someone that will buy it, you know, at a certain price. And we also end up listening on the MLS as well. Um, so the whole world can see it. But the main difference is between doing this concierge service as opposed to going the realtor route is you get your price up front. You already know what you're getting. So you literally just sit back and wait for closing. You know what I mean? As opposed to the realtor route, there's a lot of hustle and bustle on your end as well. And you never know really your price until it's all said and done. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So um, with this route, I mean, we're super close on price. We could give you about 125 going that route. Uh, 125, 375 to be exact. But that gives you the peace of mind knowing like, okay, this is what I'm selling it for. And you don't have to worry about it later. Like, okay, after inspections, you know, because if there's repairs and inspections, we pay for that. That's how you can get your price up front. If there's commissions and realtors are obviously going to be involved. Uh, closing costs, we cover all of those things. So that there's nothing else that comes out of that except for prorated taxes. So a few hundred bucks maybe, you know. Um, but otherwise, okay. that's that's the money you would get in your pocket minus any liens like your mortgage. What do you think about that yeah. option? Um, that's possible. Okay. That number. Um... And typically doing that uh, in most cases, I mean, you do have a little more time. You know, that's the only difference too. We, we ask for a little bit more time because it's not a cash deal and you're not in a hurry mm -hmm. anyways. You know, so yeah. typically on these transactions, uh, we ask for like 60 to 90 days and and, um, and then that gives you time to kind of figure out your next steps as well. Yeah. Like that never sounds, sounds all right, but what if I, you know, um, I guess months later, later, later in the fall, like how, like what, what would change about that number? Would it go up? Would it go down? Do you, to be honest, what you were most about? likely just because of the way the market is shifting it would probably go down just being completely transparent if you said that a year ago i would have said it's probably going to go up you know because the, the market was just on fire and that's just the way it was yeah and it's, i sold my condo oh did you in, uh, 2020 yeah, oh, yeah. Right here. yeah the last two years was just nuts you know but that's just not the case now prices are continuing to drop we even had a flip that we had that we typically would have made forty thousand on we actually lost five thousand on it just because we we finished it right when the market was really shifting and mm -hmm. it just it just wouldn't sell. So we'd end up having to sell it for a little bit of a loss. Uh, you know, that's just the reality of where we're at right now. Um, so I would say the more time that goes on probably within the next couple of years, it's probably gonna go lower, um, just mm -hmm. being honest, you know, cause the rates are not going down. They actually just raised another quarter point, you know, so they're literally almost eight, 8% now, which is really shying away a lot of the, you know, the open market buyers. But, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, in the next 69 days, we could get it closed. Uh, you get your 125, 375 minus obviously your mortgage and a little bit of prorated taxes for the year. Um, so that wouldn't mm -hmm. amount to much, but, um, that gives you peace of mind knowing exactly what you're going to get at least, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I would say, you know, it's, it's, better now than a year from now just because of the way it's yeah. happening you know i mean inflation's yeah. moving up you know all these reasons make make houses uh, the market you know drop and yeah. some people are predicting a crash again like in 08 um i'm not sure if yeah. that'll happen or not but it's definitely trending that way you know yeah i've heard about the um i'm from uh, phoenix arizona oh and like the, you know it's it's dropping so. yeah like it was like you were saying it was, it was up high exactly yeah but, you know it was growing mm -hmm. the numbers were growing yeah it's happening nationwide i mean we buy houses all over the country and we're experiencing the exact same thing everywhere of course oklahoma's mm -hmm. our backyard so we know that market really well 
uh, you know, so that one I know for sure because we do flips in Oklahoma City. So um, mm -hmm. it's definitely changed. Even refinancing yeah. out of a house recently um, that we remodeled to do an Airbnb. Uh, we typically, after we refinance, we try to get most of our money back, you know. Um, even after refinancing, we still have almost $100,000 of our own money in the deal. And we typically want zero. <laughs> and that's just because the market changed. The house was worth 300, you know, last June, but now it's worth 220. So it is what it is on that yeah. one. So anyways, yeah, I mean, let me know if you need to think about it. I'm not trying to pressure you or rush you, you know, no, no big deal yeah, at all. Yeah. I just wanted to call you back to give you that option um, because okay. it could be viable for you because um, we're very close to your number and um, it's definitely not, you know, the prices are not going to raise as time goes on in this market mm -hmm. at least. So something to think, to think about, you know. Yeah. But I'll definitely probably holler back at you even next week. I mean, I like to just kind of keep following up just to make sure um, you have, if you have any questions or if anything's changed or, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, today is my first day yeah. even actually talking to anybody about it. I understand. Um, it was just in my head, like, let me just get out. <laughs> like, For sure, yeah. I'd like to kind of be even to what I, I, I guess, I, what I made for my condo versus you know, the, like, let me try to get out even. Right, yeah. Or even close to it. I understand. Well, I'm going to, is this your cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Not, cool. I'm going to text you, like, our website, just so you can kind of look through that a little bit more, too. Um, we've got good Google reviews. We're, um, you know, A-plus rated on BBB. So we're definitely a reputable company. That's what you want to kind of look out for, too. There's a lot of um, fly-by-night companies out there that just don't really do what they say they're going to do um you know if we say we're going to close at 125 375 that's what we're going to do so uh, mm -hmm. that gives you a little peace of mind too but i'll text that over and definitely like i said if you didn't save it earlier save my name and company name and uh, we would love to help you out and i think we can i think we can make this a win-win for both of us okay cool uh, yeah all right stephanie thanks Thank for you talk, taking you. the call again <laughs> we'll see you later Bye-bye. All right. So this lady called just a little bit ago. And, um, you know, most sellers, look at me, no hat. Uh, most sellers actually will give you, like, the price that they want. And it's usually a high price because it's based on um, what they see, like, down the road. Oh, this house sold for this. So she gave me a price of 140 So I kind of assumed that's kind of what the ARV was, you know, because people want top dollar typically. She told me she she owed like seventy two thousand, um, and you know, just doing my formulas and all that, my calculations. Of course, my podio does all that for me. It, we were coming up with like a fifty grand offer, right, which would never work. That was for Novation. Like the wholesale offer was like high thirties or low forties or something. But then I I got off the phone and I just happened to just look you know at some comps and definitely the comps are proving that this is worth 210,000 on the low end maybe up to 230 but definitely at least 210 so i called her back to offer the concierge because she was like the lowest she would do is 130 you know after talking to her and our novation maos you know it's 125 so we're super close um, and plus earlier, she wasn't super motivated to actually even move for like a year. But I wanted to call her back because this is a smoking deal, to be honest. If we can get this on an ovation for 125, I have no doubt that we could probably sell this like really quick on the market for like 200. Um, so that's a huge spread. Even after paying everything, we're still going to clear probably 50 grand if we, if we were to come to this, um, agreement. So I'm going to definitely stay on this one. I took this call because it's a little bit later in the day. No acquisitions are working. Um, so, you know, I don't like leads sitting there because I pay a lot for them. So I took the call myself. But anyways, um, I'll definitely uh, keep you informed and let you know how that goes because I think I'm going to get this deal. So anyways, thank you guys. Uh, if you've noticed too, my scenery is different. I'm in my basement. <laughs> so I've got uh, my house cleaners just left because they cleaned the house uh, today. So I had to bring everything down here. There's my gaggle, Gallagher machine, uh, arcade. There's my weight room. It's all dark in here, but 
just a little view of the area. Anyway, in the game room section of the basement at least. But anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, I'll follow up with this lady very often because that's what I do. I am uh, relentlessly, consistently persistent. That's what I live and die by. Um, and that's why I can typically get a lot in sales or buy a lot of properties whenever I'm actually doing the call. So it is what it is. You gotta stay on these people like crazy, follow up as everything. But thank you for joining me again. Please like, subscribe, and drop me a comment and I'll reply. Talk to you later.